All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, hello there, everyone. Not hello, bad. Silver. Hi, Silver. <laughs> Whoa. You so can get up. Oh, man. <laughs> That's amazing. That's pretty groovy. How long does it take you to program her? Can I play with that? Depends Tomorrow on the complexity. Okay. There she goes. Thanks. Go. She even thanks you how polite yeah. she is. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, how long do you say it takes to pro program her to do this? It depends on the complexity. This one My took a few hours. Silver. Yeah. I am a narrowbot from the Colorado School of Mines Robotics and Automation Laboratory. Thanks for having us on your show. That's Look at the balance that she can do. That Almost a transformer. Yeah, yeah, totally. But how much longer till we, till we could have a robot like Silver who can think on her own and do this without being programmed? Yeah, so it, it really is the thinking that is the That's limitation right now. So. As you can see, we've got incredibly complex mechanical systems. However, they gather in all this data, and we're probably about 20 years away from having the ability for them to actually interpret that information that they can sense into usable information and then act on that information. So 20 years at least until the robots it, take over. Yeah, at least. <laughs> <laughs>